Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing another one of my Isaac Spoon slipper specials here. I'm gonna be unboxing this Leupold VX3 HD four and a half to 14 by 40. Uh, this is the one with a side focus. Uh, the reason I wanted this specific optic is I just got back from a Montana elk hunt trip with my father-in-law. Um, you know, I've never really been on a hunting trip that requires you to hike extensive amounts. So, I, you know, as, you know, the saying goes, you don't know what you don't know. And I was ignorant to the fact of how nice a lightweight hunting rifle and scope combo is. I actually weighed my Bregara B14 in 300 Win Mag uh, with the optic on it, and it was 14 and a half pounds. So I'm a fairly large dude. And I just kind of dismissed it, thinking that it would be no problem to carry that around. And while I was able to do it, it was not pleasant. So that led me to sell my RPR and 6mm Creedmoor. I got a Savage um, 110 Ultralight in 300 Winchester short mag. So that should be here soon. Keep an eye on the channel for that. But this is the lightest weight optic that I was willing to buy that was with a reputable company that wasn't out, outrageous on the cost. So this is kind of the, in my opinion, this is the best bang for the buck for lightweight optics. So let's go ahead and get this opened up and see what it comes with. So right out of the box here, you can see you know, protected, got the CDS up here. So for those that don't know, the CDS stands for custom dial system. You can see it up here. That means that if you find a, a round that, you, that your gun likes to shoot, the Leupold will send out a, a custom dial specifically for that specific cartridge to where you don't have to really make an, um, an adjustment on mills or MOA, you can just dial into 100, 200, 300 yards on the dial and it's already done for you for that specific round. So let's go ahead and get this opened up here. Let's see the scope comes with there. Let's see what else it comes with. It comes with some bikini lens covers. It comes with a little screw, which I'm assuming is the replacement for if you wanted to take this throw lever off. I'm assuming that's what that is for. It comes with the loophole sticker, an Allen key to adjust your zero stops. And it looks like just some documentation as well. Complete long range shooting system, talks about the reticle and stuff like that. So this specific reticle I got is the Windplex reticle. So if you look, the Windplex has, it's almost like a duplex, but on the windage, it has some tick marks on it. And the reason I got this specific one was because it has the parallax adjustment on this side. Uh, this is, like I said, this is one of the lighter option scopes from a reputable company that doesn't just cost over $1,000. Um, I believe this scope itself from the Leupold website weighs like 15 ounces or 15.1 ounce, something like around there. That is with the... Uh, parallax adjustment here. If you wanted to get the one that does not have the parallax adjustment, they have a few different options with different reticles, and I think those cost like anywhere from $599 to $799 um, with the 40 millimeter front objective lens here. You can get this in a 50 millimeter, but the weight goes up with there. Here are the different VX3 HD models that are available through Loophold. You can see the prices here. They range from two and a half to eight X, all the way up to like six and a half to 20 X. And you can see some of these have a 50 millimeter objective lens. Most of them have a 40 millimeter. The very small ones up top here, I think have like a 30, what is it? Uh, 36 millimeter objective lens here. 
Um, they also did have one that was a uh, burnt bronze colored instead of the matte black. I would have actually preferred to buy that one. However, they only had, I think it's called the Boone and Crockett reticle on that, and there was no side parallax adjustment setting for that one. So for me, the, the parallax was a, a necessity for the, the optic I wanted. So um, these are just the different options that are available. You can see here the pricing for everything. Um, you know, there, there's probably one in here that would fit your needs. So out of the box, everything removed except this throw lever. Let's see what it weighs here. You can see it's set on ounces and I zeroed it out. Just go ahead and just place it right on top of there. 15.66 ounces. Do it again. 15.66 ounces. 15.66 ounces is what this weighs out of the box as it comes from the factory. Um, this is the only one that I believe has a 40 millimeter objective lens with the parallax adjustment. At least that's what I was able to find. And something else to note as well, this one is a 30 millimeter tube, whereas the other ones that don't have the parallax adjustment are a one inch tube. So that is another nice feature. Let's see if you can hear the clicks on here. It's very tactile. I don't know if you can hear that. And this dial is, you know, it's nice because it locks in. So once you have your zero set, if you're hiking around, you don't have to worry about your turrets getting adjusted or, you know, turning while you're moving anything or hiking around. You know, the parallax adjustment, it just has, you know, I like it when they don't have the yardage because sometimes the yardage is not accurate and people get upset you know if they dial it to 100 yards and it's still blurry uh, they're upset with that but this you know it's very nice and smooth something else that's nice is the the diopter for your eye adjustment you see let's say you need to set it right there it has another uh, washer that kind of just cranks down onto it and you don't have to worry about that as well so that's a nice feature and then the windage adjustment is under a turret cap here. Let me get this off. Hopefully the camera's picking up the audible clicks. It's very distinct. I could feel it and I could hear it very well. So I'm very happy with the way these turrets feel. You know, I've kind of gotten spoiled with the long range optics that I've been using. You know, sometimes they go to 24X, sometimes they're up to 30, 32X. So I kind of just discounted these smaller scopes like this. Like why would anybody want to buy these? But like I said, after hiking around in mountainous terrain and higher elevation, I 100% was buying into the lightweight rifle. I sold one of my rifles that I don't typically use anymore and I'm converting all of that into this scope and the actual rifle itself. One last tip um, I will give you guys. So I don't typically like ordering from Optics Planet unless I can verify that they have stuff in stock because there's been a few times I've been burned where I'll order something that's a back order and they expect it to be there within a few days and then it takes months to even get. But it might be worth it sometimes. Um, whatever price you see listed on their website is not their best price. If you take the time to call them directly and just ask if they can give you a better price, they most of the time will, not always, but most of the time. And for example, this scope, I got 15% off just by taking the extra time to call them and see if they could beat their online price. So, uh -huh. Hope that helped you guys out. With I've, I've done that with multiple products that I bought from them. Now I will actually call them first when before I would stay away from them. So it's just something to consider. Might be helpful to you guys. Save some extra money in the process. Hope this unboxing video is interesting to you guys. I will be doing some turret tests um, in the field once I get the rifle and showing you how I mount this and everything like that. So if that interests you, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. You know, follow the channel. I'll be, I'll be putting some videos like this probably throughout the winter on this specific 
scope as well as uh, rifle combo. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like always, hope you're having a great day and keep on enjoying life out there.